All right, so I'm gonna show you some of our training with walking Bo. I'm teaching Bo to walk by my side like this, uh, which is, I'm sure what you're not accustomed to that. And it's actually very nice when, when he does um, do this. He's very early on in his practice. The prong collar is the collar of choice for uh, training him to walk. Uh, so when you are walking him, you're gonna be using this prong collar here. Let me reach in on him to see what that looks like. Uh, and you'll see the videos that I sent you. There is a video on the prong collar and also the safety clip, like the setup of the collars for you. Um, you may need your e-collar on the walks. I will say that that's uh, more of an advanced um, skill when he's coming out of uh, training. I want you to first use the prong, see how it works. And then we're gonna layer on that e-collar if he is vocal on walks and reactive. So we'll talk more about that, but. I just want you to see some of uh, my process. I start out in this big, nice big driveway here. See how big this driveway is? So we won't be walking in the neighborhood for a couple more days, but um, we started walking in this uh, parking lot yesterday. We did 15 minutes of walking like this. And let me tell you, he was so mentally tired afterwards. It was great. It's very good physical and mental work. Um, so when you're walking him, some of the things that, let's go. Um, notice how my arm is nice and relaxed. I'm walking as if I don't have a dog, right? So just walking. It's also loud on Main Street, so it's a good confidence builder for dogs because he's very taken aback by loud trucks and things. Um, but this is just a really nice way to teach your dog when you're walking, no sniffing, no marking, no pulling, no lunging. And you say, well, how's he gonna go to the bathroom? Well. What you're gonna do is you're gonna, maybe halfway through your walk, you're gonna take him to a spot where you know he'll potty and you can say break. And you can, if, if that's, if you use the walk to potty him, then you can do that. But it's on your terms, okay? It's not on his terms. And as you can see, he's not really, he's probably not gonna potty um, because we're just getting his potty skills uh, on a routine. Um, let's go, bud. So when I'm ready to resume my walk, I'll just say, let's go. Give him a little pop and release on that prong. Notice most of the time, there's no tension on that prong collar. It's not engaged in um, squeezing his neck or pinching his neck. So just so you know that. Uh, but this is literally what it will walk, look like when I start taking him in the neighborhood. He will be overwhelmed by the neighborhood as compared to the driveway um, because there's so much stimulation in a neighborhood. Kids, dogs, cars, people, neighbors, all the things. Maybe there's some construction, somebody's putting on a roof, uh, maybe somebody's delivering UPS or something. So those are all really good things, but they can trigger dogs, okay? So this is uh, just a little, I wanted to share with you how he's doing and how he's learning to walk notice when he wants to sniff and put something in his mouth i just do a little gentle pressure up very good boy and the last thing i'll show you is when i come to a stop i do want him to sit so i'm gonna do baby baby amounts of pressure there when i say pressure i mean a little pressure on that collar and release it and there he's sitting so i can get my mail i can talk to my neighbor i can pick up his poop okay so that's what we're doing have a good one